About a year and a half ago, I said that you shouldn't photograph Dubai. And what I meant in that video was that it's difficult to photograph here because of the rules and regulations, but that doesn't mean that you can't. So I felt like I gave a little bit of misinformation in that video, and I want to rectify that by going around Dubai today and taking photos and showing you that you can take photos here, but it is a little bit limiting, but there's workarounds and there's always things you could do. I've got the 12 to 24 f 2.8 on the camera at the moment. I've got the Sony a7R5, and then in the bag, I've got a 45 millimeter f 2.8 Sigma, which I'll be using later on. I'm just waiting for sunset. There's a bit of color coming in the clouds now, so I think we could probably get a shot while we're waiting for it to pop a little bit more. Uh, we're at 200th of a second, f 4.5 ISO 250. Oh, that's just, it's just nice. Now, that shot on the screen is nice, but I think we can make it a little bit better. If we take a step back, you can see there's this railing down here, this railing. So I'm thinking if I get down, and then I'm gonna use this railing as something in the foreground. Nice simple shot, just while we're waiting for the, uh, the colors to pop a little bit which they are starting to do, which looks really nice. I'll just pan you up so you can kind of see the colors just coming out in the clouds now, which looks quite nice. I'm actually going to get that shot, just pan you down a little bit. At 12 mil, that looks nuts. That is so wide. So I'm going to actually get the shot at 24 because I want it a nice, clean frame and it creates a bit more uh, compression thought I would start here with the Burj Khalifa and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to head round to the old part of Dubai where I'll get more kind of like more street style shots playing with shadows and highlights later on but for now we're going to use the wide angle to get some cool different creative shots with all of these cool buildings. If we look up through here you'll see you have these like dandelion kind of things. It looks kind of cool with the bridge framed in the middle. I'm trying to get a little bit more of a creative shot. So I'm at 0 0.4 f22 ISO 50 and the idea is as I take the shot I'm going to zoom in and zoom out just like that. If you want it to be more consistent you could put it on high plus, hold the shutter down and just move it in and out like that. And then you get this kind of like motion blur effect, which I think you'll agree looks pretty cool. Some of the restrictions that I spoke about in a previous video that I did here in Dubai was that you're not allowed to take photos of people, but that doesn't mean you can't take photos of architecture. So as you can see, this area is pretty cool with all the different buildings. So I'm thinking if I kind of get in line with this building here, at 12 mil. That actually looks really cool. Oh, still in the wrong settings. So we're gonna go, we need to go like a hundredth of a second. We'll go F4 ISO 100. And it's just a nice architectural shot of these buildings. Now, we do have these behind me, and I'm thinking maybe if I go the other side of this and take the same shot, we might be able to make like a, a natural frame. So if I just walk behind here, and then I think if I use maybe this, I think I could probably create like a nice frame of that building. It's there, like I just need to get a bit closer, so. I think like that, that's quite nice. So same shot as I just got, it's just a little bit different with something in the foreground. Really important when you're out taking photos, especially in new places, you get the generic shot, which I just got obviously over here, just stood in the middle. But then if you look around, you can find things like this that will help kind of evolve the photo that you're trying to take. Okay, so I'm just walking towards 
to buy more which is over there and then the idea is I'm going to follow it around and get some more shots over that way before I peel off and go towards the old part of Dubai. There's this really cool reflection shot which uh, you guys can kind of see but not really but you'll see it now with a photo. Actually crazy. I think if I come over this way I might be able to get a little bit more Sun's just coming up over there. It wasn't like a crazy popping sunrise. However, I think when the, the sun comes up, it'd be quite nice to get some harsh light and some shadows because there's a lot of cloud around today. So it should, fingers crossed, turn it out to be pretty sick. I'm only going to get a few more shots of the Burj Khalifa uh, until probably later on or a different video because I am going to go out at night time and get some stuff as well. Um, but there's a nice natural frame here so some steps coming down out of this kind of like market area well i guess shopping mall and it's just a nice simple frame f2.8 640 per second iso 100. i wonder if i can use one of these as like a frame so tilt you guys down oh. it's kind of unique think light coming through here is actually really nice. I don't know if I'm gonna get anybody walking through here. Oh, I might do. Not bad. We're gonna go 12 mil. Get this guy. Somebody coming through the frame now we're at 24. Okay. Of course I can, yeah, yeah, of course. <laughs> it's okay. I just don't really know how to... Yeah, can of course, yeah, 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 of course. Sorry, thank you very much. It's okay. I'll take a few. Yeah, sure, thank you. There we go. Thanks so much, I appreciate it, thank you. You're welcome. I've come up to the old Dubai city and I think I'm probably going to swap over to the 45mm f2.8 from Sigma. So to get from the Burj Khalifa up here by taxi, just walking up to the taxi, getting in was £7 or $9 if you're in America. So super cheap, very affordable and I think once this harsh light comes through, pokes through that cloud, I think this whole area is going to look really nice. The advantage to swapping over to the smaller compact lens is that it's a lot lighter um, and it also means it's a little bit more subtle so when you're trying to get like shots of surrounding areas it's not so big and cumbersome like the 1224 this is a very simple shot but it is uh, very nice it's a nice area here so I think we'll definitely be able to get some nice shots as we walk around It's pretty simple now. All I'm going to be doing is walking along this creek. So it's Dubai Creek. It goes all the way basically from downtown Dubai. Follow it all the way around um, and it goes up to Dubai Old City. So if you go onto Google Maps, type in Old Dubai or Dubai City, Dubai Old City, uh, it should come up. Basically, this is the old part of Dubai. All the locations that I've gone to in today's video I will link below in the description and you could just go and see all of the places that I've been to all the spots throughout this video and hopefully that'll help you if you're deciding to come here. My plan is to walk down here and then return as well and hopefully it'll be a little bit more busy by the time I get back. Nice little hack for you if you're ever heading somewhere or into a new city or anywhere like that or a new place etc it's always really good to go out early morning to see it nice and quiet like it currently is
Just getting a nice, like, architectural shot of this building in front of me, which is really nice. Now, I trialed this POV setup um, in one of my previous videos, um, and it seemed to, you guys seem to like it, so let me know what you think if you're, if this is a new video for you, you've, you haven't seen the other one. Do you like this, uh, this perspective, where the, the background's more bokered out? I think I prefer it, personally. It's quite a nice compressed shot, very simplistic. Um, because it is early, there's very little people around. But it's a nice compression shot. Oh, did I get the... No, I didn't. With uh, the boats in the foreground, and then in the back you have those buildings. Which is quite nice. Be a shot over here I can get. So we're going to keep walking down here. Basically, I'm going to follow this path until I can't really go any further, and then I'm going to come back. It's a really nice frame here with the light coming through. You can just see it on the floor, and then all that shadowed area. It'd be really nice. We had some someone walking through the frame. Oh, there's someone in the background. I don't know if I'll be able to pull that out in post, but it'd be nice if somebody kind of walked through there. But you get the frame. It's nice. It's really nice actually. Again, over here, that area is really nice. I think I'm just going to get a shot of that. There's no one, there's no frame, as in like there's no subject in the frame or anything, but that was nice. Just love the light, like the, the difference in light and shadows in places like this. Nice frame here of these two guys just sat here on the bench, and then in the middle there's a, a boat in the background. Looks kind of nice. It's a guy walking into the frame, so I'm thinking if I just hold fire for a moment. Nice. Now I might be able to crop in with this shot, but there's a boat with, but I think, well I assume, people on their way to work. And there's a bunch of seagulls following the boat, because I assume, again, a lot of assumptions for this shot, but I assume there's somebody maybe eating their breakfast. And the good old seagulls want to have a, a slice of it. Never know. And I'm just continuing down along this path. I'm just, well, I'm going to keep going until I can't, basically. That's my, uh, my aim for today. Similar to the shot I got just now of the boat going past, I'm going to get the same with this one that's going through the frame now, I think. So I like this frame here with the uh, the light reflecting underneath the boat. And there's a, a dude that's going to walk past in just a moment. So I've got my got it all framed up. Just waiting for him to walk through the frame.
Like, you go, go no, no, you go, you go. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be way longer than you. You go. Yes, there's actually a really nice entrance here. I'm thinking portrait maybe. I think I, if I go further back into the shadow a little bit, just waiting for people to walk into the frame. Nice. Shot that I just got is on the screen, which is really nice. You have the uh, the mosque in the background, and uh, the guy sitting on the floor, which is actually really nice. It's a nice little alleyway, nice little street. Hey, how are you? Just a few people walking to the frame now. Oh, they look nice. See, you don't have to always like put in tons of effort. I'm currently sitting down on a bench waiting for people to walk through this room. It's a nice little area. So earlier on I took a photo here and I said I'd come back when it's a bit busier. So this is me coming back. That actually worked out really well. A lot of the times when you're out exploring different places or new cities, it is very much a waiting game, um, especially when you go out in the morning. It can be quite difficult to get the frames that you want. Um, but the advantage to going out early is you don't have too many people in the frame. So I would recommend heading out as early as you can just to well avoid the crowds like it's 10 currently and I think this is probably a nice time of the day for those that follow me or have followed me for a long time you all know that I have a cat his name is Omi let's see if we can get a nice shot of him Hi Katie. So cute. Oh my goodness. I mean, I'm sorry, but I am a cat lover and well, that's definitely my favourite shot of the day. Hey, how are you? Oh, thank you. What are the rules and regulations for street photography here in Dubai? I think, to put it simply, it's be respectful. As long as people aren't identifiable or distinguishable from the photos you're taking, then it should be all okay. What I've done is the photos that I've taken where people are in the frame, I've changed their face with generative fill on uh, Photoshop. So therefore that person, that individual is not identifiable because it's no longer their face. I don't know if that's a, a way forward for street photography and I don't know if that's something that we're going to have to look at in the future depending on regulations and, and the way that things go in the future for street photographers. Let me know in the comments. It's an interesting conversation and it's a bit of a grey area. I tried my best to make sure I wasn't filming anybody or purposely taking photos of specific people. It's more about me going out and showing that you can take photos in Dubai and be respectful about it. The information that I put out there about a year and a half ago was still factual, but 
I didn't go and show the way to do it. Instead of just being like, yeah, well, you can't do this or you shouldn't do this. I didn't really go out and do what I wanted to do, which was what I did in this video. So if you enjoyed the video, let me know, subscribe, the notification bell, all of that stuff. I'm here for about a week. So if you're around, send me a DM over on Instagram. Maybe we can link up, do some photos, whatever. Uh, but I'll also be going to Hong Kong from the 12th. So if you are based in Hong Kong, let me know because I'm going to be there for a while. Also, just before I do sign out, I, um, I'll also be going to China. So if you are based in Shenzhen or Macau or any of those locations, let me know. Send me a DM over on Instagram. It'd be great to meet up with you. Um, and again, Hong Kong next week. If you're there, come and say hello.